I have it all, Macbeth. Your king, lord of Cawdor and lord of Lannis. Everything the witches promise. But the question is, what you might have done for such a thing. Tonight we're having a banquet, and I request you attend. Of course, your highness. Are you planning to go out riding this afternoon? Yes, my lord. Are you riding far? As far as I can go between now and dinner. Unless my horse goes faster than usual. I'll be here an hour or two after dark. Don't miss our feast. My lord, I won't. All right. I hear that Malcolm and Donalbane are telling all sorts of strange lies and are not confessing that they savagely killed their father. But we can talk about that tomorrow. You can leave now with your horse. I'll see you tonight. Farewell, my lord. Is Fleance going with you? Yes, my lord. We should hurry. Farewell, Macbeth. Good luck with your journey. I'm sure it'll be smooth. Goodbye, Bankwell. Wasn't it yesterday when we talked? It was, your highness. Well now, have you thought of what I said? You know that Banquo is the one who gave you your troubles. Even a half-wit madman would have to admit Banquo is guilty. You made it clear to us. I did, which is why we're meeting right now. And I ask you this, can you really let this all go? We are men, my king. Now, if you're any better than the worst of mankind, say so, and I'll give you a job that will get rid of your enemy. I am stressed just knowing Banquo is alive. I want you to kill Banquo. We thirst for revenge in this world. We will take your job. Then the job is yours. I wish for you to keep this out of the public eye, however. I have friends who would not approve of the action. I cannot lose their trust. We will do it, even if our lives do- Yes! Yes, you must understand, though. It must be done tonight, and as far away from the palace as possible. I'll tell you where to hide and when to strike. Now leave, and I'll tell you when it is time. Drowning in your sadness. <laughs> These things we can't fix should be forgotten. What's done is done. I eat my meals in fear and I hardly sleep. I envy Duncan. Nothing can harm him now. Come on, lighten up. You should be happy for your guests. I will, and you should too. You must be good to Banquo. He is our honored guest after all. You're lying. Maybe. Stop! Stop! What is it you're hiding from me? Don't worry about that. I can tell you after the deed is already done. Things that have gone bad can only get stronger by further bad deeds. The time to strike is approaching. Listen! I hear horses. I see them! They're getting off their horses. Whoa, whoa, wait. They're like a mile away from the palace. Yes, he usually walks from there like most men do. Give me that. Who wrote this? Shakespeare. Well, then why are there no horses? Well, it's not like they were going to get a horse on stage. We're not on stage. We have no budget. Ah! Oh, cut, cut! <clears throat> All right, let's kill him. Agreed. Looks like it's gonna rain tonight. 
then let it come down. Oh, I like that one. See, it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what? I, I, I knew Are you. Are you guys going to kill me? Oh. Oh, oh my God. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, the horror. My child Fleance, run now. And so Fleance fled as he flew off into a blue sunset. He's getting away. I see that. Let's just leave and say what we did get done. I welcome you to Macbeth Castle. You may all take your seats. Please, come, come. Even as king, I sit among you as a humble host. <clears throat> Blood on your face. Then it is Banquo's. Better on the outside of you than on the inside of him. My lord, his throat is cut. Good. And you did the same to Fleance? Fleance escaped, my lord. But Banquo's dead. Yes, my lord. He has twenty deep stab wounds. So the snake lives. You can leave now. I'll see you tomorrow. We're waiting for your toast. Ah, yes. Let us toast to good fortune and good health. A, A toast. toast! We would have every nobleman in the country if Banquo was here. You could blame his axes on him. He promised he would come. Please sit down with us. <laughs> the table is full. But do you have a seat here, my lord? Where? Here. What disturbs you, sir? Which of you has done this? Done what, sir? You can't say that I did it. Don't look at me, not with that bloody face. Gentlemen, let us get up. Our king is not feeling well. Sit down. My husband is fine. He's been like this since he was very young. Just continue on or you'll make his fit worse. Just eat and carry on. What's wrong with you? I'm looking at something that would scare the devil. This is nonsense. This is like that dagger you saw in the air. Why are you making those faces? You're just staring at an empty chair when all is said and done. Please, just look there, look, see? If graves send the dead back, then why even bury them? Your guests do miss you. Oh, I forget. Uh, don't worry about me. I have a strange illness that those closest to me would know about. Uh, but let us drink to good health and to our good friend Banquo. For health and for, and for Banquo. Go away! Get out of here! Go back in the crowd! Don't worry, this is very normal for him. I'm not afraid of you. If you were a bear, I'd kill you right now. Hell, if you were alive, I'd battle you right now. Get out of here! Alright. We can get back to the feast now. Who's he yapping to? The dinner might as well be over. How can you see that and not be horrified? S see what, sire? Oh, don't ask him questions right now. He's just getting worse and worse. Everyone leave, right now. Well, I hope he gets better. And good night. There are crows outside. What time is it? Midnight. Is it strange that Macduff did not attend as I asked? Have you sent someone to get him? I have spies watching him. I need to visit the witches. I need to know my full destiny. I'm too deep into this. I must continue down this path of blood. Why are you calling me here? You know why I'm here! 
You told Macbeth's fortune without asking me, the source of all your power. But there's a way you can make it up to me. We will go and tell Macbeth his true destiny. Then you'll be blinded with his own confidence, as you'll be ignorant of how easily his death will arrive. Men are always blinded by their own confidence. I know you're thinking the same thing. Strange things are happening. First, Duncan is dead, and now Banco as well. They do seem to be the obvious culprits. Yes. He was upset at his death. What about Macduff leaving Scotland to meet Malcolm? Well then, I hope that can restore some peace in our broken country. Yeah!